Thank you so much, Afropunk. Thank you so much. This is Afropunk. It's a global music festival featuring black artists with an annual show in Brooklyn and shows this year in Atlanta and Paris. It's a movement reminiscent of the countercultural roots of hip hop. Afropunk, if we use one word, is about freedom. I think what defines this movement is individuality, the DIY aesthetic. I think it is pushing the boundaries of what society says that young people of color are. They're young, they're black, they're American. That's complex. And in this time of revolution, this time of rebellion, they're showing you what they believe. When you go to Afropunk, you see that. You see this community expressing itself fearlessly, expressing itself with humor and sex appeal and irony. What's interesting about Afropunk, it really reflects how media and images are now being traded and shared much quicker. Because in one person, you have piercings, natural hair, skater style, boho style, all in one person. And to document it all, there are the photographers. This year, Afropunk partnered with Instagram to highlight the work of four hand-selected photographers at the Brooklyn Festival. I began photographing at the age of 15. From there, I signed up for a photo class in, in my high school and realized how much I was interested in telling stories and also how to give a voice to maybe some fringe populations. I used to walk through the streets of New York taking photos and I remember walking through Times Square and looking up at all the giant posters and light and not really being able to even identify myself in those images. I never really saw like any blacks on the forefront of those images and I, I felt like that needed to be challenged. Mambu Bayo started taking photographs of black women in his neighborhood. He took his work from the street corners of New York to the walls of his blog, Stay Sucka Free. Tumblr at the time played an important role because it was the first time that I could get an audience to just look at my work at its most basic form. The way that fashion works now, if you want to see what's hot, you're not running to Vogue. You're going to the blogs. You're going to Tumblr. You're going to Pinterest. You're going to Instagram. Like, you're seeing what's happening in real life, in real time, from real tastemakers. The community are now the curators. And leveraging new media is central to the Afropunk movement. Particularly for us, in looking at culture through our lens, and pushing that message and then having a community push that message out is mind-blowing. And those images instantaneously going out globally changes everything. It changes the mindset of folks who may not feel empowered. With the new evolution of technology and the internet, we now as individuals have a platform to, to circumvent certain gatekeepers and to bring it to the masses and to say this is what I can do. As an artist, my job is to use whichever platform it is, new or old, conventional or sometimes unconventional, to let people know that there's a wider dialogue to be had. This journey has always been about freedom to express. And the more collective self-esteem we have in the culture, the way that we look and the way that we walk through the world will reflect that.